Question 10, a plane inclined at an angle alpha to the horizontal. And it's fired with a speed u at an angle theta to the incline. So my initial vector is u cos theta in the i direction plus u sine theta in the j direction. The accelerations in the i direction are going to be minus g sine a and in the j direction minus g cos a and we're looking for the time of flight here so we're looking for s of y being equal to zero when is s of y equal to zero therefore ut plus a half a t squared is equal to zero so for y we're going to have u sine theta times t and we'll put in the minus g cos a times t squared all over two would have to be equal to zero factoring out our t we get u sine theta minus g cos a times t over 2. So my initial t is equal to 0. And I would have u sine theta would have to be equal to g cos alpha times t over 2. So 2u sine theta divided by g cos alpha will be the time of flight. And up above we have 2u sine theta by g cos alpha being the time of flight. And prove that the range is a max, so we're looking for s of x. And this is the time that we have to plug into s of x. Um, when t is equal to this expression here, a half, and we have radian measure inside. So we're looking at 90 over 2, or sorry, 180 over 2. So let's look at s of x, s of x. It's going to be my u cos theta, ut. t is 2u sine theta over g cos alpha. That's my ut. Plus a half at squared is going to be minus g sine alpha for my acceleration. A half, so it would be over 2 by t squared. So 4u squared sine squared theta over g cos squared alpha so tidying this up we get 2u squared sine theta cos theta over g cos alpha minus we're going to get the g's to cancel here the squared which I left out so we're going to have 2u squared sine alpha sine squared theta over g cos squared alpha so where does this go what can we factor out here we can definitely factor out 2u squared sine theta cos theta we can just factor out a sine theta and underneath we can factor g cos alpha that would leave just cos theta minus sine theta sine alpha in whatever order and on the bottom of that we still have a cos alpha so bringing the bracket together and cross multiplying we get cos a that's cos a cos b imagine it like that minus sine a sine b for the tables over cos a I'll just move it off to the left here because we're going to bring that back outside the bracket we'll have 2u squared sine theta over g cos squared alpha I'm just going to move that outside so cos a cos b minus sine a sine b in the tables is equal to the cos of a plus b so that's going to give me the cos of a plus b on top we also have 2u squared sine theta so if I write it as 
u squared 2 sine theta we would have a g cos squared alpha on the bottom now this is another trig identity 2 sine a cos b 2 sine a cos b in the tables is equal to the sine of a plus b plus the sine of a minus b so we'd end up with u squared over g cos squared alpha times the sine of just going to change my b to my theta so we have <coughs> a plus b which is theta plus alpha plus theta plus the sine of a which is theta minus b which is minus alpha minus theta so we'll end up with u squared over g cos squared alpha times the sine of in the bracket there's 2 theta plus alpha and then we have plus the sine of minus alpha and the sine of minus alpha is the same as minus the sine of alpha so that will tidy that up a little bit nicer and then just one extra bracket so that's what that simplifies down to i don't think we can do any more here what were they looking for Prove that the max prove that the range is a max when theta is equal to a half pi over two minus alpha. Well this is going to be a max when the sine of two theta plus alpha is equal to ninety degrees, the sine of two theta plus alpha would have to be equal to one. So two theta plus alpha will be equal to ninety degrees. I think we had radians in the question, didn't we? 2 theta plus alpha is equal to pi over 2. So, what were they looking for? They wanted the half times pi over 2 minus, they wanted theta on its own. So, 2 theta is equal to pi over 2 minus alpha. So, theta is equal to pi over 4 minus alpha over 2 and then we factor out the half it's equal to a half times pi over 2 minus alpha finish the bracket